and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Yay! I realize it's been quite a while, but as you can see right here, oh, something has happened to the Space Center. It looks terrible. Why does it look terrible, you may ask? Well, the game has gone under several major updates, and I figured it would just be easiest to start over because everything's changed. <laughs> you have to upgrade all your facilities. It is very different. So I decided, hey, yeah, I want to just uh, play this starting over. Now, don't worry. Yes, I know we left uh, Jebediah and Bill on the Mun all alone. We uh, were sending that ship off to get fuel and poor Burgle, he was left stranded. Uh, don't worry, that story is not done and over, but it's just going to be continuing in a different format entirely, so you can look forward to that in the coming months. Uh, I believe that'll be sometime in March that it's going to be coming out, but uh, you'll see what I mean more if you're watching what's going on on the channel. Anyways, we're uh, going to get started here by heading to Mission Control. Oh, and accepting contracts. So this one <laughs> it's uh it's all about well you accept contracts and they take money and everything is money it's money you get money and things cost money so here's a command pod right and uh i need to put a parachute on it and i need to put on an engine there we go the most basic ship you probably, well, have you ever seen my old stuff? Basic ship one. This would be familiar. Hmm. Yeah. So, the beginning of the series, oh my gosh, look at my launch platform. I'm amazed at this launch platform. I'm actually amazed at it. Uh, hey Jeb, how's it going? Let's do a crew report. Hmm. We're gonna transmit that science. Oh, I don't have any science to transmit. Eh, uh, sure, let's just keep that. And, uh, okay, Jeb, you're gonna EVA. Let go. Oh, you've fallen down. Keep that. And let's go back to the Space Center. Wow, that was our first flight. We didn't even take off. You may have noticed that uh, nothing's really come out on the channel in about a month. Yeah, that's because I had some complications, mainly with uh, complications with what would you call that? Ooh, there we go. Bam. I had some complications with weapons program, uh, namely. There was a bunch of footage that I was uh, trying to get a hold of, and it got lost in transit, so I was without a whole bunch of footage for the longest time. Um, but, never fear, the footage is found, and I have it, and it's just going to be a matter of me finishing up the episode, which, uh, what I am recording here, you'll be getting to see on... Whoa! Launching! Thursday! Tomorrow! Tomorrow's Thursday, if you're wondering. But uh, technically speaking, tomorrow is Friday for anyone who's watching this because, well, I actually don't know what tomorrow is for you. When are you watching this? If you're watching this when I release it, then yes, tomorrow is Friday. If you are watching this, I don't know. Uh... Oh, hello. Crew report, thank you. Oh, let's transmit that, yes. Hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah, but if you're watching this, you know, some other time, tomorrow may not be Friday in January. I digress. Anyways, the new footage with the uh, Minecraft weapons division, uh, Alan's perspective is now being included as well, so it will be active camera switching between them. So, hooray! That's awesome and fun and more interesting for me. To even edit. It's a lot of fun. Anyways. This, uh... <laughs> this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while. So, 
why don't you just enjoy this nice time lapse and I'm going to grind through I don't know how much longer this is going to take me but it should be interesting. Alright, so we've had some fun with this little uh, basic ship, but it's time for a new design. Whoa, that was cool. We've gotten a few more items here uh, through some research, namely some boosters and that sort of stuff. So, and uh, also landing gear, parachutes, yeah. You may have noticed I was being very, very careful when I was landing, although it was probably going by very fast, but... Uh, yeah, I was being very careful on landing, because you recover these ships. Like, everything costs freaking money, so you want to be economical and not damage everything. So, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, aren't you a fan of my fun designs? This is Party Ship 1. It's gonna be a party, that's alright, with nothing to separate anything on here. Oh, that's, that's gonna be all kinds of special. Um, oh, right. I should probably put some goo containers on here. Uh, no, I don't think I want that many. No. Or wait. No. Or wait. No, no. No? No? It looks cool. So for aesthetic, pur la 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 la. aesthetic purposes, this will do. Party ship one. Save. Launch. Unable to launch. What? What? You cannot support an item of over 30 parts? Hold on a second. How do I do something about that? I don't know how I do something about that. Ah, right click. Oh. I don't have enough money. Okay. How many parts do I have on this ship? I don't know. Unable to launch. Okay. This is a problem. 50 parts. Oh. Well, let's dumb this down a bit. Alright. Party Ship 1 now has exactly, precisely, 30 parts. What? What? What have you done? Oh, this new... This new Kerbal space program thing. It's uh, it's gonna be a little bit frustrating, I think. But we'll get used to it. We will persevere. Okay, now, Party Ship 1 is actually finally complete. This ship is pretty ridiculous looking. Uh, but it'll launch. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe how this game goes. Uh, now, the next thing is once I saw all the boosters are done, I don't actually... Oh, no, 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 that's bad. This is very bad. Oh, that's bad. What is going on? Stop. Stop. Why are you out of control? Why are you out of control? The ship is uncontrollable. I don't have any kind of control on it. Okay. 